Okay, I can't be typing all this. I'm going to put the type for the date and time. That's it. I got hit with chemical weapons really hard. Well, the female was downstairs, and I'm just going to say this, and I can. This is a drop in the bucket to what I witnessed. All right, so one went up while I was being hit extremely hard with chemical weapons in my main, no, in my extra room. One went up. I walked into it. I walked into a fog of chemical weapons in there. Okay. And I went into my ex, my main room and it was in here too. So it had been filling up. There was no escape. Um, all right. So while I was in there, you know what I have to do. I couldn't leave. It was way too dangerous. Okay. So I've made this clear as humiliating as it is, but this is hostage and this is a terror cell. So this is what fucking happens in here. So I had to do all this cleaning up that I've said I have to go through. And I had to do this before the cleaning up. I had, you know what I have to go through in here. And while I'm being extremely poisoned, one burst was waiting for me and it was bursting and flowing and gassing, pumping in while I was in there going through the pain and suffering in the EB. And the thought crossed my mind, am I going to die? Because it's so painful and scary and it's lethal gas. And you can hear the terrorists tapping and doing things I can't talk about. I still can't fucking talk about it from floor one. And that was while the gas was pumping, the first burst of it. And this was in the kitchen down there area. And then after the burst was over, the door to the kitchen opened up and I thought I had a moment of relief. And then another burst came just chugging, pumping so hard into the extra room. Okay, so this is two fucking huge doses of lethal fucking chemical weapon. I got fucking hit with back to back. And so I started going again and my body uncontrollably doing this in the bowl and that at that point while i'm in the process of just going i had to be really silent and one came up from downstairs barefoot i think it was the male you hardly fucking heard him and then once he was up you heard the female after she'd already closed the bot the kitchen door she, you heard her barely walking but you heard her walking barefoot on floor one and then all this noise erupted on floor one. I don't know. It was just noise. I'm not going to describe everything. Loud noises. A series of noises. I'm done. I know what I heard and I'm done. Okay. And this went for about five, six seconds. And then after that, within 10 seconds, the female came creeping up and she was trying to desperately as possible to be quiet too but the one that went up before was a lot better at it they both go up the stairs stealth silent about two minutes apart by the time the female gets up my burst of gas the second burst is finally over i realize i'm not dying and i'm trapped in the room and i can't go into the bathroom to flush or do anything and at that point this went on for like five minutes six minutes a while at that point the TV starts blasting over my head. And then once the TV started blasting, I was okay to go and sanitize and do all this. I got to clean all this shit and do this. The floor in here, everything in here, and myself, everything. And then out there, do that. It's fucking nothing but lethal death in here. Fucking assassinations. It was scary, man. The house is 35 degrees. They've got the place. I can't talk about it. Never mind. Never mind. I can't talk about it. And then when I was in the bathroom, the same noises, loud noises, a series of sharp, loud noises erupted. I couldn't tell what for. I honestly didn't care. It was one or four, three. I don't fucking care. It was signaling that I was in there. I know what they do. There's such fucking bitches here. Okay? I was safe. I'm safe. I knew to go out there. Safe. Um, and I can't say any more about this terror cell, but they are lighting me up with chemical weapons. Bye.